I got a brand new IdeaPad Gaming 3 laptop. I'm going to open it up, do some upgrades inside, and I'll show you how I do it. Today I have a brand new IdeaPad Gaming 3 laptop and I'm going to do some upgrades too. Um, it's brand new, I just kind of walked it through, got it into Windows, it's for a customer. I'm going to do a couple simple little upgrades. The, the big one I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a 16 gigabyte uh, RAM kit. It's got 8 gigabytes of DDR4 in it right now. It's got two slots in there. I'm going to take out that factory one and put a matched set of my Crucial Ballistics here of 3200 megahertz rams i just like to have the matched sets in these gaming laptops and um lenovo this model ships with a caddy for a hard drive either hard drive or a two and a half inch sata drive in this case the gentleman just wants a one terabyte hard drive in there he's going to put lots of music on it on this and he's got like two games that he likes to play so we're going to leave the factory 256 gigabyte m.2 ssd i'm going to leave that alone and just go with adding this with the caddy and the cable that came with it got the screws over here and add the extra ram uh quick rundown on the laptop though it's a pretty pretty decent little gaming laptop it's got the ryzen pi 5600h processor it's got a 1080 120 hertz display it's got the geforce gtx 1650 graphics like i said eight gigabytes of ddr4 3200 and the 256 MBME SSD. It's got a backlit keyboard. It's not RGB. It's just a, you can see it's white backlit and a three cell battery. And of course it comes with a nice 135 watt power brick here that I don't need. So without further ado, I'm just gonna go in here and I'm gonna shut it down and we're gonna open it up and get inside. There's a couple things I wanna point out to you once I get in there. <clears throat> but as I say in all my videos, Guys, when you're going inside your laptop or computer, make sure you're protected against static discharge. Wear an ESD wristband uh, or a um, you know an anti-static type service. My bench tops and my whole shop are covered with commercial grade anti-static carpet. We plus we spray it with a special treatment and the floor. And we never 25 plus years, I've never had an issue with static electricity, so I don't need to worry about it. Now I took in the liberty and removed all the screws already i like to lay them out in a pattern how they come out i use my little magnetic board over here the four across the front here are real short and then the other ones you can see are all the same length so just kind of lay them out in a way so you can get them back in the same holes that would be good like i always say a long screw in a short hole that's not good so i'm going to use a little plastic spudger tool to get it started here probably in a corner back here guys um And these generally come up fairly easy. So make sure you have your laptop turned off all the way when you when you start this. Got to get it started here. Use a couple of different types of tools. Just don't poke anything in there too far. You can see it's kind of coming up, but just don't be yanking it off. If you know, some of those little tiny, teeny little plastic clips break off and stuff, it's not the end of the world. Don't worry about it. But the gentler you are, the less you have to worry about it. <clears throat> going across the front here. I'll have a link down below where you can buy some of these little spudger tools. They work pretty good. People say they've used guitar picks and whatnot, but or your fingernail, I guess, or you got a big old gnarly fingernail. You can see it's almost up, but not quite. I just don't like to rip it off if I can help it. Oop, at the same time, I don't want to poke anything in there too far. <clears throat> come on. It wants to come. Oh, there it goes. Just like that. Not much there. We got a little heat pad for our NVMe drive over there. <clears throat> now, what I want to explain to you real quick. <sighs> Excuse me, bugging my throat again. Here's the M.2 drive, it's a 2242, 42 millimeter being the length. Um, here's where our hard drive, or our, our two and a half inch drive caddy is gonna go over here. And if you look over here, I'm gonna spin it around, there's another M.2 NVMe slot that'll accommodate a 2280. This slot over here will not accommodate a 2280, you know, the longer one. You cannot, there, there's literally no selection for a 2242 good M.2 drive. 
all the good ones are the 2280s. Um, but in this model, Lenovo decided not to give you the standoff here to mount it. I've looked at it a million different ways. Um, there's just no standoff. There's no good way to mount that drive in there that would be safe, in my opinion. <clears throat> so, plus, if you're putting in the caddy, like I'm going to do here, it blocks that off anyway. So you kind of one or half a dozen the other. Like I said, if you want to put a SATA, two and a half inch SATA over here, a one terabyte, a two terabyte, whatever you want, you can go for that. <clears throat> That'll work just as good. Won't be quite as fast as the, the NVMe drive, but still. Um, in earlier versions of these IdeaPad uh, gaming laptops, they kind of had it laid out different, but they would actually give you the standoff you needed to mount the 2280 drive in addition to the 2242 drive, but they would mount it like right to the board just off in a corner. You unscrew it, move it over and put it in. But this one doesn't have it. <clears throat> I know that might look like it, but that's not. That's just a motherboard anchor screw there. So anyway, having said that, all that, I'm going to grab my... What did I do with my tool? Oh, it's way over there. Give me that little nylon. Yeah. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> I am going to disconnect the battery here. This little cable right here is going to slide back. So I'm going to gently pull that back. I want to just want to get the power out of there. I'll tell you why in a second. Just like that. Take it off. <clears throat> I'm going to gently, carefully open it while it's up. And I'm going to hit the power button a bunch of times. I want to discharge any residual juice that might be in there, guys. This way, if you drop something metal in there across the motherboard, you're not going to brick your computer. Best advice I can give you, like I said, is protect yourself from static electricity and just don't touch things you don't need to touch. So this cover right here is where our two RAM slots are. This is metal. I could say sometimes, you know, you might slip out of your hand and fall onto the motherboard. So let's just pop that up. It comes up fairly simple. Just like that. <clears throat> now I'm going to take out that factory. 8 gig DDR4 stick in there. It's probably Samsung. And I'm going to put in my ballistic from Crucial 3200. So we got the two slots there. Now this will take up to 32 gigabytes, but in this case, I told them since you're sticking with the 256 gigabyte NVMe drive, 16 gigabyte in dual channel is going to be probably your best bet. If you had a one terabyte drive in here, going with more RAM, I, I would probably recommend it. But this is going to work great. And when you put these in, make sure you get a good click and these little arms snap in on the side really good there, which they did. Pop in the other one. Just like that. Plus it looks pretty. So we're done with that. I'm going to put this cover back on. Now this, you got to be very careful. It has going these little tiny little clips on the side here. It'll give you a lot of leeway. Make sure it presses down all the way. <clears throat> I think we're golden on that. All right. So you see the cooling system looks pretty pretty adequate for a Ryzen 5 processor. Um, yeah. So now we're gonna mount. Now we're got the new RAM in it. Now they like I said, Lenovo gave us the caddy, the cable, and some mounting screws. We will have to remove this screw right here for the motherboard. That's going to be one of the caddy mounting screws right there. They give us three in the bag, plus that one makes four. So I'm going to pop it out. Keep track of it. You'll need it in a second. <clears throat> I believe the caddy is going to go in just like this. Now the cable is kind of pre-bent, so to speak, but just get it in there the best you can. Try not to kink it and, and undo it the way they got it, but essentially it's going to plug into the motherboard right over here. I'm going to lift this little lever up very carefully. Just like that. Be careful of those clips. They can break. So I'm going to steal my number one Phillips over here and mount this drive in here because I'm pretty sure that's how it's going to have to go. Yes, we're going to put it in just like that. This isn't a real difficult of an upgrade, but I just don't understand why they don't give us the, the standoff here for the 2280 drive. I have various standoff, oops, there goes that screw. I have various standoffs, but none of them are the right 
the right size, so to speak. I mean, you can stick a drive in there and kind of push it down and screw it into that hole, but it's going to be in there at kind of a slant. Yeah, it would probably work, but uh, it's not something I really want to do if I don't have to. All right, let me grab a bag of screws real quick here, guys. I dropped one. There we go. Got lots of these guys laying around. I'm using my number one Phillips for these. They're little, these screws are a little meatier, a little heftier. Come on. Use good quality tools, take your time. Don't touch stuff you don't have to and you should be fine. So now we're gonna set this in there, but first I'm gonna plug in my cable. I think I'm gonna bend that around, I'll show you. Just plugs into the drive. Only goes one way. So I think we're going to go like that. Set that in there. I should be able to get that plugged in just like that. I'm, I'm going to tape that down, I think, too, just so it ain't sticking up there. So now we're going to mount that caddy. Let me put that motherboard one back in there first. This is a pretty nice little featured laptop for the price and what you get. Pretty snappy. Like I said, this gentleman here that is buying this, he's got like two games he's going to play and that's it. And he's going to put a ton of music on it. He likes to listen to music and play his game. So you don't really need a solid state drive. You can always change this out to a SATA SSD later, of course. screw all right so now the fun part we struggle with these cables sometimes hopefully it slips right in there over here they already got a pre-bent so we're just gonna take it the way it is more often than not I get these button back up and that cables <laughs> Seat it all the way and have to open it back up and redo it. Okay. All right, camera guy, I'm going to get in the way here. All right, guys, we got it. It was just I didn't want to bore you with me fussing with with that, but you got to you got to make sure when you get this in, you'll know it's in. There's a line, usually a white or a gray line, and if it's right up to the clip, you know you got it. And a good lock down there, you can see that it went in. Um, I always seem to struggle with those. They don't they don't go in as easy as you would think they would. So anyway, let me I'm going to I got some clear heat resistant tape here I use. I'm gonna put a little piece across here. Just to kind of hold that cable down. <clears throat> so yeah, I try, that's just the way it's bent, so that's the way it's gonna go. All right, so we got our new RAM in there. We got a one terabyte hard drive. Once I boot back into Windows, I'll go into disk management. We'll, we'll initialize that bad boy. And yeah, so let's hook our battery back up. And again, once you, connect that battery don't touch anything don't use any metal tools in here and just be careful please my camera guy actually helped me with that I guess I'm just getting old huh <laughs> people in comments call me grandpa like, great video grandpa I'm like thanks proud to be a grandpa all right all right I'm gonna put this around in my other hand here I don't give you a lot of extra on these battery cables, but take your time. It'll go there. So now we're just going to make sure it's locked in there all the way. Little tabs on the side you can gently push on with your plastic tool or your fingernail. I don't have much fingernail these days, so yeah, looks like we're good. All right, so let's take this back around. We're all locked and loaded. Yeah, that's a shame about that 2280, but like I said, if you would have would put a 2280 in here it takes away your two and a half inch bay so you got one one or a half dozen the other anyway i'm gonna snap this in i'm not gonna put all the screws back in just yet i never do after i do an upgrade like this until i know everything's good i want to take them screws in and out more than i have to all right so that should be plenty 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and turn it on. Now, the first time after turning it on, you know, when you turn it on, it put new RAM and be patient. It will take a minute for it to post. Usually, not always, but it's going to read that new RAM. There we go. Well, that was quick. Hopefully. Uh, you can go into your task manager or whatever in system. I was curious what the, if this has got, okay, this has got 20H2, but there's our 16 gigs of RAM. Um, so let me, okay, first, let me, before I forget, I'm gonna right click on my start menu here. I'm gonna go to disk management. Nice looking 120 hertz display. Now this is the new disk that it's seeing, the hard drive, the one terabyte, we're just gonna hit okay. Let me make this big so you can see it. Here's the new hard drive we just put in. I'm gonna right click on it, go to new simple volume. Basically, I'm gonna set, take all the defaults. Now you could partition this drive up if you wanted to into two partitions. You could do that right here. Um, but I'm just gonna go with a one terabyte partition. I'm gonna hit next. Drive letter D, NTFS, finish. It'll do a quick format. And it should pop up here. There it is. Boom. All right. Uh, let me just show you here. <clears throat> so there's the one terabyte drive. Here's our SSD. You can right click on these drives and just rename them. Whatever you want. I'll go HDD. It's okay. I'm an administrator. Boom. So there. Quick little upgrade. 16 gigs of RAM, DDR4 RAM. Added a one terabyte hard drive. Should be golden. Um, check out more of my video guy, videos, guys. I appreciate it. If you like it, give me a like. A sub would be awesome. Appreciate you watching. All have a great day.